I love a good conspiracy theory for its entertainment value, at the very least. And sometimes it's actually fun when you can't 100% prove something wrong. So what I have for you today are what I would call the top conspiracy theories, the ones that I found very interesting. So what I need you to do is pause this video and go get your tinfoil hat, come back, and we'll go over these conspiracy theories together. No, really. Go get your tinfoil hat. Pa pause the video. Okay, our first conspiracy theory are going to be the dinosaur ecostones of Peru. Back in the 1960s, uh, they started finding these ecostones, which they, they had other carvings and depictions on them, but they also had dinosaurs on them. And what is surprising about them was how modern the dinosaurs looked. They had the, at the time at least, they had the proper structure of bones and skin. And the Ica stones were carved by ancient Peruvians hundreds or thousands of years ago. Talking like 600 to 1000 AD, I think is what they, uh, they found it in one of those tombs from that era. So they actually ended up finding thousands of these stones. Eventually, through all the digging and the research and the conspiracy theory debunking, they actually found a farmer, a rural farmer, who admitted to creating some of these Ica stones. Now, before you are ready to call it right there, he actually would not really have been able to produce those thousands of stones. You know, he, I mean, it would just take such an enormous amount of time, given how intricate the carvings are. And back in the 1960s, in rural Peru, they didn't really have these machines that you could, you know, do all that AutoCAD design stuff or whatever it is. And the kicker is that there's actually no way to reliably date the stones as far as how far back they went. All right, our next conspiracy theory is probably the most fun, and that is that aliens sent the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. So make sure your tinfoil hats are on tight because this is about to get weird. Recently, a bunch of scientists have come out and said that the asteroid strike that killed the dinosaurs, if it had hit anywhere else on the Earth, they probably would have been fine. And they actually had to hit that one spot in the Earth, and they had only a 30-second window. Now, whether you believe in aliens or not, hitting the Earth at the right spot within a 30-second window, that's, that's pretty incredible, you have to admit. So, if we can do it in the movie Armageddon, surely aliens with faster than light travel can do it. The only remaining question really is, why would the aliens want to kill the dinosaurs? Sounds like a good future video. We'll get back to that. So this last conspiracy theory really emphasizes that a picture is worth a thousand words. Angkor Wat is a religious monument in Cambodia. Now this temple was constructed starting in 1100 and then there was a delay for some reason started again in 1400. One of the temples there is the Ta Prom Temple. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And on that temple is, I kid you not, a carving of a stegosaurus. Or at least what looks like a stegosaurus. You can see the picture here and decide for yourself. Now obviously, we have only found dinosaurs starting in the 1800s as far as excavating them, seeing full skeletons, knowing what their, you know, basic shape was. But this temple was built back, you know, well before the 1800s. So how would they have known what a stegosaurus looked like? So there you have it, something to talk about at work. If you know of any good dinosaur conspiracy theories, uh, let me know about them in the comments so I can look them up. I really enjoy uh, debunking and researching conspiracy theories. I think it's funny and fun to do at the same time. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, you can take your tinfoil hat off now.